Hello Cancer, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. I trust you guys have had a wonderful month and are gearing up for October. Do keep in mind that we've had a couple of eclipses and lots of planetary action in the last month. So a lot of things are going to be taken away from our lives. A lot of things are going to be replaced in our lives by something better. By new paths, by new interests, new people that are going to step in, especially into our romantic life. Because if it's been stagnant up to now, it's going to change. Jupiter just moved into Libra, the house of friendships, relationships, fun times. So perhaps those things are going to be highlighted for us in the month of October. And that transit happens, I think, for about a year or so. Within a year's time, you guys can change a lot of things that have to do with your romantic life and your friendships and how you go about it. Remember not to look back, look forward, try to release the old energies that no longer serve us at all whatsoever when it comes to romance. Try not to think of past experiences or past relationships because from those we need to learn our lessons and move forward and keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that this reading pertains to all of you with your sun, moon, and rising sign in the sign of Capricorn. If this reading doesn't seem to resonate with you, then perhaps you would like a private reading. And if you would like one with me, then please check my links or write to me at my address and I will get a hold of you and we will schedule an appointment. Also, I'd like to thank all of you that have supported my channel, whether it's through Patreon's page or listening to the advertisements on the channel or your thumbs up, your comments, your likes, your shares. I do appreciate each and every one of you and everything that you do for me. Do keep in mind that these readings are difficult to, to do. They take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money as well for the tarot decks, the oracle decks that I use. They're not cheap. So please continue to support me and I promise to continue to come to you each week and each month with my readings as I do love doing them. I'm sending you lots of love, Cancer. And without further ado, let's get to your reading. The general energies that are affecting you for the reading is the Princess of Coins. So it's messages that have to do with, with new abundant paths or new paths that you will take or undertake this month. Also there's learnings, there's lessons that you have learned. So perhaps that is weighing down on your mind. There's things that have happened in the past that are now happening in your life. There's learning curves that you are experiencing right now, memories from or perhaps past experiences that that are affecting your life. Okay, Some of it is because of young energy. Perhaps you haven't had many relationships that have been significant in your life. So it's things that you're starting to balance now in your life and learn from them so that you don't repeat them and try to change your forward motions, your forward movement when it comes to your relationships, how you treat them, how you look at them, perhaps widening your, your prospects or the way that you choose your relationships. Maybe you're too narrow thinking in the way that you have been moving forward in life with your choices and the people you've dated, perhaps you're going to start widening that spectrum a little bit so that you have more choices in life because it's a young energy that I'm seeing here. Either you're meeting someone young or you're trying to get over someone that was very young or something to that effect, Cancer. But you may be meeting someone that's very young that doesn't have a whole lot of experience as well. So let's keep that option open also because the card that crosses you is the innocence card. So some of you may have a very innocent outlook when it comes to love, relationships. And this is a dark time that we're in. So it may be clashing with the ways that you view a romantic partner. Some of you are starting a new relationship with someone that's a lot younger than you, that's very innocent. So try to be open-minded with them, try to teach them things, try to um, keep in mind that they haven't been through a lot of experiences. So you'll have to be very patient and they'll, they're going to allow you to guide them through life because this is the card of the fool. And this card is depicting a partnership or a very young relationship where one of them is blindfolded and playing music. 
And the other one is guiding them with their eyes open. They're, they're telling them how to move forward in life. While the music is entertaining the one with the eyes open, the guidance is allowing the one that's playing the music, the one that's creative, the one that's innocent to move forward. Trusting that the other person is not going to allow them to stumble. So they can continue to do their beautiful art, their beautiful craft, their music, and, uh, and, and show them honestly and innocently their love and their trust. You're going to embark on something new, Cancer. There's going to be a new experience that you will allow yourself to experience something new, someone wonderful that either comes into your life or you allow yourself to experience new things that are going to feel wonderful, that's going to make you feel like you did when you were younger perhaps, more innocent, maybe more of an innocent outlook in life or where romantic relationships are concerned. The foundation of the issue is the Empress. Fertility, maybe children, perhaps some of you are having children, you're conceiving children, you have a new idea that's going to take you in a new direction that you've never gone through or experienced before. Perhaps you're going to allow someone new into your life that's totally different from you and you're innocently going to allow them to guide you or they will allow you because you're going to be really different. There's something different that's coming into your life that's a brand new idea that you've never experienced before. Some of you are going to acquire new pets, perhaps a new pet that you've never had before. But for the most part, she's pregnant on this card. So a lot of you are conceiving for the month of October, Cancer. So if this is something that you don't want, then you need to protect yourself for about a month because the energy is very fertile for new things to come into your life. Very abundant life. Very abundant energy. So new relationships, new people are going to show up. You're going to experience new strength also in moving forward. And very trusting. You're going to become very trusting for the month of October, I hear. The past influences that are leaving your life, Cancer, and I'm glad to see this card in the past position, is the Five of Cups, which is despair, which is pain. Looking at the cups that have fallen instead of the ones that are coming in. Looking into your past to see your mistakes or the past relationships that didn't go anywhere, that left you heartbroken, that left you alone. This is going to be leaving your life now, Cancer. I know you're an emotional sign that loves family, that loves life. Everything affects you very deeply. You're very protective of your home and the people that you love. And when you have a relationship that doesn't work out, it's hard for you to trust others. It's hard for you to open up again. But I see that with this energy, the way that you're going to be experiencing new things and allowing others to guide you for a change, you're moving away from this energy that has been very difficult to overcome in your life, where you have stayed a long, long time thinking about this pain from the past, and you no longer need to do that. It's time to open up to new people, new experiences in your life to bring happiness. The issues in your mind at this time is wisdom. It's the lessons that you have learned from your past and you don't want to repeat them, not allowing them to come back into your life on any uncertain terms. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to feel it. You want to follow your intuitive guidance now. You want to make new stories. You want to build new bridges. You want to go to new places in your life, places you haven't experienced yet, with people that you haven't experienced yet. You might even become involved with someone that's very intuitive, someone that's psychic. For some of you, I'm not saying all of you. For some of you, there's a new person that comes into your life that's very intuitive. You'll allow them into your life and you'll allow them to guide you for a change and see if something good can come of it. This pertains to a few of you, not a lot of you. Some of you are going to meet someone that's very entertaining, that their stories are going to engulf you. You're just going to absolutely love what they say, love the way they say it, and be 
terribly entertained by them. So this applies to some of you. For some of you that are in a relationship, you're going to allow your intuition to guide you and your partner into moving your relationship forward because this is a major arcana card and it's a very important one that says that by looking into the past briefly and seeing the things that you don't want to repeat in your life and learning those lessons deeply, you can move your life forward with a relationship or without a relationship and not experience the pain that you have in the past. You need to let go of this once and for all so that you can have a healthy, happy relationship with someone else in the future. And it's very there's very fertile energy at the moment. So for those of you that are meeting someone that is younger, they're very fertile at this moment, so keep that in mind. Or your energy is very fertile. You want to bring abundance. You want to bring love into your life. Right now you can't. Because at the bottom of the deck you have the tower card. There's been a lot of oppression on you. A lot of pressure from all of this past relationship discomfort and memories and such. This is going to leave your life. There's going to be a flash of intellect something that happens that changes the way that you think about relationships about yourself you finally realize what has been lacking or where you have been going back into the past and thinking that everything follows that same route or that same suit but no you're going to open up your mind you're going to start thinking out of the box you're going to allow new things into your life you're going to take a leap of faith in other words and see where you land and see how this new experience goes in your life what direction it takes or takes you in your immediate future what is coming into your life is the three of coins which shows good work you've made good choices in life your craft is in perfection you're going to meet someone that's going to blend with your energy perfectly it's a soulmate or someone that has energies a lot like yours so you're going to mesh very very well with this new person or this new experience that you're going to have and others are going to look at you and go wow they they have a good partnership they make a great couple because it's someone that's going to be a lot like you even though you don't know that yet but through following your intuitive guidance you'll be able to meet this person or have a relationship with this person because it is time now Things are happening in the universe that bring these people into your life. How you perceive your love life is someone that works very, very hard in order to have a love life. So you perceive yourself as a very hard worker towards a love life. You commit yourself completely and you work very hard in order to keep it going. How others perceive you in your love life is a person that's constantly moving from one place to another messages lots of messages and lots of people so others may perceive you as someone that has more than one lover or more than one situation going on in their lives where they're constantly busy or moving from one place to another and are unable to have a relationship so keep that in mind that you may be seen by others as someone that's not stable enough for a relationship or that constantly goes from place to place and it's like well how can I have a relationship with someone like that that's constantly moving from one place to another where there's messages that conflicting messages that are coming from you towards these other people somehow perhaps they're not clear enough you're getting the Prince of Arrows and your hopes and fears so you're hoping to learn the truth about why things have happened in your life or the truth about other people but your fears are that they won't be truthful, that you won't be able to open up to others, or that you won't have a relationship that will be honest when it comes to communication. So that is a big struggle that you have in trusting others and open communication. There's something about your communication that, that lacks that openness. You, you cut yourself off or you don't give other people enough time to communicate clearly with you. So you need to work on that because that is coming in in your hopes and fears. And your outcome is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of being gifted something from the divine, of, of having an emotional experience that's being handed to you on a silver platter. But sometimes we're so busy looking at what we had in the past, the experiences from the past and what they did to us that we don't see when something good is coming because we're constantly wanting more to come into our lives or asking for more when we already have something that's being gifted that is enough but we don't see it so you need to be careful with that
Cancer for the month of October that you don't overlook a good experience or a good relationship because you, you're you too busy looking in the past or you're too busy thinking that it's not enough because you need to work on a relationship in order for it to grow. Okay, the zodiac sign that will affect you for the month of October is Aquarius. This energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. So through communications with others, through joining groups, through being eccentric, you're going to meet someone. Through doing something that you normally wouldn't do. So you need to get out of your comfort zone and go join a club or go do something that you normally would not ever do. That's where your soulmate is waiting for you at. It could even be an air sign, an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Or during the time when the sun is in these signs, will you meet someone special in your life? But mostly it means that the, the energies of this sign, so getting out there and being different, doing things that are different, is how you will meet your soulmate. The house that's being affected for the month of October is your second house, your assets, your finances, and the things that you value the most is what's going to have a spotlight on for the month of October. So the way that you make your money, um, communication with other people, that is going to be highlighted this month. You may meet someone through that as well. Neptune is the planet that's going to affect your sign for the month of October your fantasies, your dreams, your yearnings, your longings, your potential for illusion. Be very careful not to allow illusions to cloud your mind when you are looking at a potential romantic partner or dismissing a potential romantic partner because Neptune is very dreamy but it can also cloud your vision. So you may be looking at a potential partner and cloud your vision and look at someone else that really wouldn't work for you and it takes you right back to that negative energy that you're trying to break away from. So be very careful when you're making your choices. Make sure that your vision isn't being clouded by Neptune which is a very dreamy, idealistic type energy which sometimes is good if you're painting or if you're creating music, if you're in a creative mode. But if you're looking at someone and you're trying to decide, be very, very careful, okay? It also depicts someone that is very good at psychic abilities or dreams or deciphering dreams. Or you may dream of someone. And that could be your soulmate, so keep that in mind as well. But be careful not to allow fantasies to come into your choices if you're trying to choose between partners or a partner. I keep grounded. If you were thinking of something or put out a question that needed to be answered, success. So you're going to have some success in some of the choices that you'll make and during the month of October, or success can be gained by some of the forward movement that you'll have this month when it comes to relationships. Your angel of guidance. A renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. So by using your intuitive guidance, you will embark on a new path, you will meet new people, and new things are going to start flourishing in your life, Cancer, if you allow it. Magic mirrors, the wheel. The wheel represents changes, it represents seasons, it represents being up in your life or being down in your life, but lots of changes are coming and it's due to influences from the universe, things that you cannot change. So if you've been very happy for the last few months, you're going to be down on the wheel because it's a constant flux of change. If you've been down and you're hoping to change, then you're going to be up on the wheel. But keep in mind that as the seasons change, so does your life. So positive thinking, positive movement forward will help, okay? children. Your love life is being affected by children. So either you have children, your potential partner has children, if some of you are going to conceive children, you work with children, your partner may work with children. So there's children involved somehow in your romantic life for this month. Maybe you're going to meet someone that has children and you don't or vice versa. We keep an open mind because children and pets perhaps have a lot to do with 
your romantic partner or the one that you're about to meet if you're single. All right, Cancer, I've gone through all my cards. I hope you've enjoyed your reading. I will talk to you again next month. Bye for now.